The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation in Ukraine. High-precision air-based missiles of the Russian Aerospace Forces have hit 21 areas of concentration of Ukrainian manpower and military equipment during the day. Operational tactical, army and unmanned aviation have hit 37 areas of Ukrainian manpower and military equipment concentration. The attacks have resulted in the elimination of more than 360 nationalists and 49 weapons and military equipment, including one detection and aerospace control radar station in Slavyansk, Donetsk People's Republic. Also, 13 Ukrainian tanks and infantry fighting vehicles, one OSA AKM anti-aircraft missile system, have been destroyed near Bakhmut, as well as two motor batteries, two Grad multiple rocket launchers, eight artillery mounts, 26 special vehicles, and four missile and artillery weapon depots near Solidar, Zerzhinsk, Yakovlevka, and Bakhmut. Russian air defense means have shot down three Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles near Rusnaya, Krutaya Balka, Donetsk People's Republic and Mitrovka, Kharkov region overnight. Three Uragan multiple launch rockets have been also intercepted over Petropolia, Kaminka, Kharkov region and Novosolovka of Toraya, Donetsk People's Republic. Missile troops and artillery have hit 26 command posts, 122 Ukrainian artillery and motor batteries at firing positions, 537 areas of Ukrainian manpower and military equipment concentration, as well as five ammunition depots. One Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicle control post near Pervomaiska in Nikolaev region has been destroyed. In total, 186 Ukrainian aircraft and 129 helicopters, 1,087 unmanned aerial vehicles, 328 anti-aircraft missile systems, 3,386 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 462 multiple launch rocket systems, 1,760 field artillery and motors, as well as 3,376 units of special military vehicles were destroyed during the operation. Against the backdrop of Kyiv's political catastrophe in Mariupol and military failures in Donbass, the Kyiv regime, with British financial support, has organized the production of morale race videos for Western and Ukrainian audiences. In particular, on May 28th, staged video was filmed near Meshkovka, Nikolaev region, of the alleged high efficiency of the use of Western weaponry by Ukrainian nationalists. To add more drama to the future film, at the insistence of British supervisors, a reenactment of never-existent battle between Ukrainian Nazis and outnumbered Russian soldiers was created on the set. The roles of opponents of the Ukrainian Nazis in the staged short film were performed by members of the local territorial defense unit, wearing red armbands. In the absence of trophy Russian equipment, the mock enemy appears in the frame using Ukrainian APCs and armored vehicles. The next video shoot is scheduled for June 5 and 6. The videos will focus on staged testimonies of ordinary Ukrainians accusing Russia of allegedly deliberately shelling civilian populated areas.